Marhaba friends, have you ever wondered how to properly maintain your device drivers on your machine? Install missing drivers and update the old drivers. There are so many hardware devices. I mean, it will be just too much time consuming for us to go through each of these devices and to find the appropriate driver, go to the manufacturer's site. Uh, yeah, you can do that, but uh, there should be a better way, right? Oh yes, absolutely, there is a better way. And that is what I'm here to show you. So, and trust me, it's easy. And just let me guide you guys. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, remember this real tag. I'm going to update it, man. <laughs> All right. Open up Firefox on your machine and we will search in Google a site called Snappy Driver Installer, not a site, a tool called Snappy Driver Installer. And once the page opens, we will see that it says Snappy Driver Installer, install and update drivers for free. That is the bottom line what this tool does. All right, so let's click on that link. And once the site opens, like the site too much, it's really clean, very focused on one thing, great. It says install missing drivers and update old drivers. So let's go down and on the big yellow button there, it says it says supports Windows 2K, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and then that means almost all version of Windows. Great, great, great. That is what I'm looking for. The best part is there are no limitations, no premium features, and no software gotchas. It's all free, free as in freedom. It's portable, so you can carry it in your, on your used USB drive. It's always up to date, and it's safe. It's it's safe because it creates a system restore point. You are allowed to create that. Uh, it supports all version of Windows. It's customizable, multilingual, and the best part is it's open source. You can review the source code for your satisfaction. All right, and it's accurate too. So too much of <laughs> too much of reading aloud. Let's click on the yellow button there and download this tool. It's a very, so once we are land on this page, we are given two options, SDI full and SDI light. Now SDI full is for system admins who do not have an internet connection and you need a torrent client to download 21.7 gigs. I am not going to do that and I do not recommend you do that too. So we will focus on SDI light where we will just download the indexes. Uh, and then it, the application will scan the hardware on our device, on our machine, and it will download only those device drivers that our machine needs. So let's click on the blue button there and then click on download now. I'm using a free download manager, extreme download manager uh, for your convenience. And once it's downloaded, I'm gonna click on open folder and we'll see what has downloaded. It's a very small file, a zip file. Uh, and we'll right click and we'll extract it to a separate folder using 7-zip. All right, now let's open that folder and see the contents. Uh, we have a drivers folder where the drivers will be in, located. Indexes is the indexes that will be generated for our machine that will be different for your machine. <laughs> All right, for each different machine tools are software tools to change the language or the themes. Okay, so not concerned too much about that. There are two files, SDI and SDI x64. This is for the 32 and this was 64 bit. Since I have a 64 bit machine, I'm gonna open that up. So UAC prompt and I'm going to allow it. Please allow it to. And now the software has opened. As soon as open, we are greeted with this screen where it says three big buttons, download all driver packs. Please do not do this. Uh, I'm not gonna do this too. This was like the 21.7 gigs. Download network drivers only if you do not have internet connectivity on a new install, you do use this and then you can uh, connect to the internet and download the full indexes. Right now I'm just going to download the indexes only because I'm connected to the internet. So let's click on that, download indexes only. Now what it will do in the background is it will connect to the internet and it will download the indexes for your machine. Now this will take some time, so please be patient because it has to go through the list of all the hardware in your device manager and find all the drivers currently installed and match it with the drivers in their database and then it will present to you the drivers that need to be installed. So let's see if it opens up. Yes, it has opened up, great, great, great. So this is the list of all the drivers on the left. It is what is installed on the right. 
which is available. You see on the left, the driver signatures date are, uh, are are outdated and I have a newer driver available. I mean, even I'm surprised. I mean, I never knew that I was running so old drivers. And what do you have to, have to do? Just download a small utility from the internet, just a couple of clicks and it, it's doing, it's, it's taking up like hours of a job as of a job into a couple of minutes, I should say. Great, great, great service. So hovering over the, these menus, it will sh show you the information about your system and what you need to do to drive, install the drivers. This is how it, if you double click on it, it will open the device manager. So this is how it calculates the indices. Okay, so create a restore point. Guys, please, please, please do that. I do not have restore points enabled, plus please do so. All right, so you should reboot your PC after the installation or you select, you can select all or select none drivers. And SDI is developed by volunteers. So if you are kind enough, please support them on Patreon. Okay, now uh, after this, I must show you, I must explain to you the left menu, which is very important. You can refresh the driver, the driver list. You can load a snapshot of a different system on this system and check what drivers are installed. All right, on the X, on the, um, on the Nexus, is the extract tool. Once you have a fully functional system, you can extract all the drivers into a separate location so you can keep it safe. On the, the options will we open up the options of this uh, application. I'm not in this is very important. So what drivers are you going to install? You're going to find all the not installed drivers, the all the newer drivers and all the better match drivers. So it says find so you're saying you're essentially saying okay driver packs, snappy driver installer, find me all installers which are either not installed on my system or they are newer than what I have on my system or they are are better matched than what I have on my system. Please don't find the worst match, the current ones and the older ones. If you have if you have a problem with the current ones, check the current ones, otherwise don't. Okay. Now what is absent in the driver packs? Anything that is not installed on your system. So if there is something, some sort of proprietary driver that you are using that is not there in the driver bag packs, please inform them and the next time they will include it. So that will be a great help to them. That is all, that is all in the left side. Okay. So, so I can so check select all and I'm going to install 11 of my drivers. And it says click here to stop the installation or cancel the installation. I don't want to do that. And ideally you should not cancel your device drivers installation. And so can, congratulations guys, I mean our driver's installation has started. That's all, I mean just see how how easy and convenient it is and it is not even a proprietary software. So, so that guy, that's what I want to show you. Thank you so much for watching. Please support me, the best way to support me is by hitting that like button and if you want to watch more video like this, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you so much for your time, take care, stay safe.